Third row, move along. Third row, great. Thank you very much. Now we will have Python anywhere. Okay, hi everyone. Hi everybody. Who remembers from EuroPython my disastrous talk on Python anywhere? <laughs> okay, well this time I have prepared a lot better, okay? First of all, I've checked out the wireless network works. It works. I've got a backup network on my phone so I can switch to that. I've also got a local install of the server on my laptop. I've got slides showing everything that I want to slow. And if that fails, in my bag over there I've got a can of spray paint and I'm going to graffiti my points all over the conference center. So who's ready? That is I skip all that stuff and go straight through the city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so the talk is about Python Anywhere. Um, I'd like to reference Alison's talk from that where she said that one of the cool things we can do in the world is start talking about getting away from the desktop and having a working environment for us around. Uh, the idea of Python Anywhere is to have Python with you anywhere. Um, we're not trying to attract tell and tell people to get completely away from their desktop environment or to give up their favorite copy of Emacs or Vim, but we just want to put something out there that can maybe uh, let you access Python in more places. So the first thing we did was we tried to build a web-based Python console. Has anybody ever seen a web-based Python console? Yes. yes. Okay, there's an excellent. Which one have you seen? Anyone? Who's that? Rapper.io. Yeah, that is excellent. So there's two different approaches you can take with um, uh, in browser consoles. You can either get the uh, JavaScript uh, to pretend to be the language and do it in browser, or you can have a sort of server-side execution environment. We've gone for a server-side execution environment. Uh, there's also Microsoft's excellent try, uh, uh, try Python, which works with Iron Python and still like the browser. It's all beautiful. I'd like to show you ours. And uh, here we go. <coughs> Demo gods, do your worst. I curse you. Okay, so the uh, basic Python Anywhere homepage, if you ever sign in, get an account, this is what you'll be faced in with your first screen. You can see start a new console. I'll do that with the Python 207 console. So Python 207 is our default option. Hooray for the uh, new flavor of Python. There it is. And just to prove that this really, really does work. He said. Damn you. Microphones here switched on. I can talk into them. Then. You can talk. Oh, thank you. How about that? Look at all those colours. Oh, it's beautiful. What else is cool about time? Uh, about my Python is maybe like from uh, let's see, collections, import. And so I can't quite remember what's in collections. Tab completion. That's right. In your browser. So what we're doing there basically is WebSockets on the JavaScript side talking directly to a server-side process. Uh, Sock IO, uh, tornado in the background. So every single keystroke I'm sending here actually goes to the server. It's a server that's echoing it back. Um, 
So that's why we do things like tag repetition with not all other uh, web based console support. Um, so, apart from that, I just want to show you very quickly uh, we've got a file browser, so you know, it's very nice to have uh, a web based console, but you're also allowed to get files in and out. I've got an upload link, I've got a download link, we've got Dropbox integration, you can sync your files using Dropbox, there are bash consoles, you can sync with Git, you can sync with, you can sync with Mercurial. <laughs>